저희 곰TV 스튜디오 가려면 어디로 가요? 저 앞에서요 우회전 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 그냥 저 태워가시면 돼요 장난하나 네 이렇게 해서 오늘 저희가 준비한 경기는 모두 끝이 났습니다 이주영 해설, 박대만 해설 수고 많으셨고요 네 수고하셨습니다 저희는 내일 저녁 6시 GSL 코드 A, 코드 S 경기로 다시 찾아뵙겠습니다 시청해주신 여러분 고맙습니다 기술 건물 완성 수고하셨습니다 네, 수고하셨습니다 네, 고맙습니다. 고맙습니다. Well, welcome back. I gotta say, Great opening song. Whenever I used to think of Dejong, I thought of that awesome four gateway speed zealot rush he did against Savior on certain peaks of Big Do back in a uh, game forever ago in StarCraft 1, but. Now I just think of him in a dress, that poor yeah, guy. <laughs> that guy looks amazing with that dress on. I don't know if I could cross-dress as well as him. Love that guy, very nice. You're just too One manly, of our tasteless. I'm, I'm just, there's too much testosterone here, man. Sorry. Uh, we got, um, uh, we're, what, we have, we've casted three games. How do I not know that? We've casted three games already, so that means we're halfway through today's games. Hope you're enjoying them. This is the Code S. This is the the pinnacle of of Gosu of you know the solid shark uplifts. Yeah, pinnacle of esports. Yeah, it's actually we're just actually the most important thing in the entire world. Pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, if you don't think esports is the most important thing in the world, then your opinion doesn't count. You're so. just a selfish bad person. Yeah, I said it. I did it. You did it. Tasteless. I did it. It's about time you told someone's yelling at their mother like that's not true, tasteless. Well, I can't hear you, nerd. <laughs> So uh, get ready for some more awesomeness coming up here in just a little bit. Thanks to our sponsors, it's Tony Erickson. Thank you. You know what? I'm a little parched. I'll have some. I'll have some of this next zero free Pepsi. Pepsi. Next zero. It's zero. Just call it next. Yeah, next, next. zero. Like Xenix? It's a member of the team. Next. Whoa. <laughs> ah, delicious. You can get free Pepsi if you come down here to the studio. How fuzzy did that get in your mouth when you did that? I can't imagine. There's already so many bubbles. It's actually like there's foam coming out. It's like I've got rabies and stuff. I'm like, are you ready for Starcraft now? There's uh, no rabies in Korea. I didn't know that. Yeah, little fun fact. Well, there would be if I now. I, I'll, I'll, I'll throw that joke in the trash. <laughs> that wasn't going to go anywhere. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please encourage your friends to get the premium account. It's it's quite a deal considering. Yeah, it's only like nine ninety five now. I, I know. Yeah, that's a bargain. That's right. And just, you get all that content. You can watch it whenever. Maybe you're gonna get a little bit sick, like whatever keeps happening to tastes and artosis throughout GSLs. And uh, you know, you'd be like, oh, I gotta stay at home all day, you know. And you know, you got you got to watch those, or you can watch them in the office. I know there's probably people yeah. in the office. Or maybe you're like the Uber nerd baller, and you're just living in your mom's basement, and you're just gonna stay home all day and watch them anyway. There you go. It's the way I Got like to roll. To do. Yeah, that's how to do it, man. All right, get ready uh, for our player. Full Prime. There he is, Full Prime. Prime. And the map is going to be Zelnaga Caverns. Full Prime took out Shakur's Plateau, the best foe jungle basin. And of course, um, our main map, Zelnaga Caverns, a one-on-one uh, -on -one map. Awesome map. We've casted it a lot here yeah. throughout the GSLs. Good map. Good map. So uh, here's our other player. 
They call him the best. Foyu, a member of the Foyu team. He is uh, definitely uh, a deadly player. Taryn, yes, of indeed. course. Just took out Maca Prime in a TBT, yeah, man. so. We're Pretty gonna short TBT, so he's yeah. definitely gonna be able to keep his stamina. Bolt now, Prime, um, I'm not shocked that he lost our first game, but I don't know, he could possibly come through with a win here, but I'm feeling it for the best. You feeling it? Yeah, you know, Polt, uh, his TBT is pretty good. I mean, he did take out Slayer's Boxer, but when we saw him go up against Jinro, it was like he hit a brick wall. So, Oh, yeah. And, you know, I think uh, the best, he's reasonably good at TBT. I mean, yeah. I liked his build order with the Hellions to stop the Mass Marines. We don't really see Hellions used against Marines yet. It's kind of like when StarCraft 1 started out, no one used Vultures against Marines. They're like, that That's doesn't true. work. And then... Someone was like, uh-uh, watch this, and they kill eight Marines with a vulture. And they it's just like, LOL'd all over oh, the guy's base. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah. I like that. That's that's forward thinking. Well, it's smart it's because, cool you know, move. You, get, you get so many mass Marines early on that uh, if you get a few Hellion shots, maybe just like three on that clump, well, those Marines are going to die so quickly. Yeah. and Especially know, when they're coming down the ramp. He yeah, some good exactly. places to yeah. engage. And uh, I don't know. I kind of am liking the best. Uh, Terran versus Terran is Banshees were quite terrible as we saw they just kind of like floating in and die like, i'm gonna go over these marines and i'm gonna hope that he doesn't scan me and he's like <coughs> curses darn he it scan me yeah uh, who'd have thought with two orbital rats so um we'll see how this game turns out no protoss today sorry sorry people on ir we're gonna have to wait until i believe day two we should have a protoss in it i believe yeah i'm pretty sure we have yeah. a protoss tomorrow I think so. I think it's group uh, B, which, yeah. yeah. All right. So, anyways. Uh, so, get time. ready. It's time. Let's go. Over here in the red, our Terran player. He used to play War 3. They call him none other than Porto Prime Win. Port Prime Reeve. Port Prime Reeve. <laughs> Prime Reeve. Uh, over here at the top right, we have our other Terran player from the team FOU. The best for you. Well, he says that, but he's not the best for me. <laughs> he actually, when we, uh, when you interviewed him, Artosis, yeah, he said he actually wasn't the best person on Foyu either. That's right. Just and like the ID. I trust him in that because Lee Nock is definitely Lee the best Nock player. Lee Nock is actually on Foyu. so good. Even though he's like, no, I'm not. It's like, yes, you are. It's just like a compliment, like battle. He's like, no, stop. I'm like, no, you really are the good player. We got a barracks on the way. We won't see much. Uh, until you know the gas finishes or the second barracks is on the way because that's when we're really going to know what's going on mm. in this game. So many different openers we've seen in Terran versus Terran. Banshee openers, wildly popular. But then again, at the same time, we've had a lot of fast sex openers involving both Marines and or Marauders. Yeah. And uh, it looks like exactly similar builds so far if we take a look at that production tab. So uh, definitely both getting gas. No uh, Marine-only tomfoolery. Had enough of that shenanigans. Enough cases. of that, man. Yeah. Marine King ain't playing. Let's not see just Marine play, please. <laughs> I like other units, too. And they will scout each other. One player walling in, the other not. Man, you can Matt use SCV is having a... Wiggling the screen like crazy. Yeah, man. You can usually keep that SCV in, the, in their base, you can keep Ooh. them alive until the second ring comes out. It really just depends if uh, you want to play it safe or not. Because, of course, after that, you do send the SCV, as we're seeing here, to the Zelnaga Tower. Yep. And you don't want to lose that. Both players getting their second gas. Factory going down for pole. Factory also going down for the best. And there it is. And there it is. He wasn't lying, guys. Yeah. I was telling the truth. So, for the time being, I'm asking myself, are we going to see that Banshee rush that's so popular, sometimes with cloaks, sometimes without? Yeah. 
I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I'm going to say Double yes, Double gas too. is Terran versus Terran. Most likely, it is a possibility to see uh, Tank Viking from here. Yeah. But I like Banshee. I know you like Banshee taste. Oh, I TBT. love the Banshee opening TBT. Because if you force him to scan even just twice or something, that's minus two mules. Yeah. Um, then we have a rat reactor over here, Tech Lab Starport. <laughs> And, uh, it, you know, it, as you were saying, it is minus two mules, Tasteless. It is. Yeah, and uh, Banshees may take away the, uh, I forgot it actually, I had this like hilarious joke that came to me and it's gone. Oh, we've been on break for too long. Oh, man. Got to get back in the crew. what happens. By the way, if you're just now joining us. Oh, I, oh, Vikings may take my Banshees, but they'll never take my mules. Ooh. That's good. Yeah, it, I didn't deliver it like I wanted. It's no, it's all right. I'm Let's shut actually up. just start the cast over. Yeah. Let's just everybody. I, <laughs> just uh, I wanted it. to make it into like a Braveheart type thing. Oh, I see what yeah, you. No. I see what you were going for. Didn't work. No, out. No, that joke's good. That joke has legs. By the way, a Raven. This is so smart. I really like this play. Mm. It deflects Banshee pretty easily. You don't have to waste those mules. Yeah, if you get that Raven and then go Banshee. And look at that. In fact, we are going to see cloaked banshees from Polt. So there's going to be a raven out, and the raven's just going to look the banshee right in the eyes. And the banshee's going to just keep flying, thinking he's not being seen, but he's going to realize, uh oh, he can see me. My I cloak know. isn't working. All right. We have a little bit of a lull here, as we said before. We're going to have to wait for the builds to complete. Ooh, medevac. So we're actually going to see a marine siege tank attack. Or at least a unit composition of those units. You got to be very careful. Huh. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying that's that's quite interesting. By the best, he's using some builds we haven't seen that much in TVTs in the GSL. One thing that you can do that's great is if you see somebody who's fast exploiting and kind of rushing for a lot of marauders, um, you get a raven out. Um, yeah, point defense and then drone. And yeah, point defense drone and just bum rush the expansion. Yeah, kill all the um, the mar uh, marauders. That's right. Straight true. So you heard it Point here. Defense drone is quite a strong spell. Here comes the Banshee, Tasteless. He's on the move. Remember, there is a Raven, but the Raven is not a quick unit. You can easily yeah. avoid it. That's quite true. But he does have a Viking being made as well. Here it comes. Brace yourself. Where is the Raven? Is the Raven in the base? I don't. I think the Raven's actually moving out. This could be bad. Could be bad indeed. In fact, it's getting bad. Worse every uh -oh. second, but he is not going to turn around. Oh, wow. Oh, uh oh. Both players upgrading siege mode right now. He is just going to sack his base. Ah. Uh oh. Waiting for that. There is one Banshee. Marines and tanks. He's got to get up the ramp. Thing is, siege mode is going to finish with Pulp Prime about the same time. Oh, my there God. Just go. walking up the ramp. He's just going for it, man. Point. Yeah, one uh, auto turret down here. Sending the SCVs, tanks are sieging up. And I gotta wow. say, this is a mistake by our blue Terran. Ouch. That is ouch. He's lost a lot. Oh my god. That actually might be GG. Please click on Banshee. Oh. I must see its rank. I wanna see the Banshee's rank. There's basically a point in time well, where you killed that many workers. I'm going to go ahead and say that had 30 kills. Um, what rank is that? Uh, it's probably 20 kills. They should change it to just say baller. Yeah. It, like, turns into Tasteless Banshee. <laughs> like a little picture of Tasteless comes up in the cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> we can, you can see our Blue Terran is actually... Uh, basically starved now. Yeah. Has no SCVs really. And Bolt Prime yeah. is gonna sea walk over to his base. Sea walk. He's gonna sea walk. He's gonna walk on water, tasteless. That's right, man. Part the seas. And he is just gonna take him out. And this is a very straightforward game. This is why you gotta be equipped to deal with this. This is this is not an abnormal opener that we saw from uh, from Bolt. Yeah. Totally standard. I don't know why he wasn't prepared for a banshee coming. Uh oh. This is where <coughs> the G key comes in handy. Yeah, it's very handy to GG here because there's no way to possibly win and you're wasting your own time by staying in the game. That's right. Uh, you have no SCVs, your opponent has more tech, more SCVs, more units, you're dying. You're actually dying. You're actually dying. Yeah. It's a terrible feeling. And, uh, wow. So, more Marines are coming up here. 
And this Viking's gonna land and probably wish he just stayed in the air. Yep. That flies back up and gets taken out by Marines on the ground. Just no winning as a Viking. Yeah, man. GG. There's GG, a short TBT. Yeah, Paul Prime takes that game down. Interesting. Interesting indeed. All right, Paul Prime. You know, you said that the best was uh, the favorite or Joseph, and I agreed with you. Yeah. Paul Prime just proved us wrong. I guess he did. Yeah. Uh, you know, that for some reason, the best had it in his mind that a Marine Siege Tank uh, Raven timing push was the thing to do there. Yeah. Now, when the Banshee came into his base, he did not react very well to it, lost too many SCVs. I'm kind of surprised. It was like a cool, interesting build, and it could have done really well if he played passively with it. But I kind of wish we could have seen exactly what his plan was. Was he going to go for a contain? I mean, what, what, what was the strategy he was aiming for here? Yeah. I mean, we're never going to see. I don't know. So, eh. I'm sad. Yeah. I think it was a kill strategy, to be honest. Yeah, it seems like Because if it's like a it. contain, yeah. would you really sack all your SUVs to contain? You're like, no, I'm going to Oh, I forgot about the SUVs. Yeah. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Um, well, that was, I mean, there's really not a lot to say about that game. No, um, not too much. He should have brought all his SUVs with him. At least they would have been shot down. All in right. At least you wouldn't be having, getting shot down by a Banshee at home. You could have yeah. had him shot down by a Banshee in the attack. That's it. So well, they have go. a Raven there, too, so. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe things see. would have been different if he had done something crazy like bring all his SCVs. I know. Little page out of Bit by Bit Prime's uh, playbook there. <laughs> oh, um, before I forget to mention, um, as you can see, we're not in the Mokdong studio right now, but we will be tomorrow. Yes. So come down. Of course, we're in the big baller badass studio for now because it's the first day of Code Ass. That's right. And, I mean, this makes basically the third most important their third holiday in a you know in a run. We had Christmas, we had New Year's. Now we have the start GSL of GSL opening day. Yeah. I know. Wow. I know you probably decorated your special GSL tree. Uh, you know, had your GSL advent calendar for Code S. So uh, we 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 brought it to the big place here today. But we'll be back in Mokdong if you guys want to come down. That's right. You can high five Tasis and Artosis. Uh, I don't normally high five. You know, a high fiving guy. No. I only like high five uh, very certain people like Idrick because he hates it. <laughs> I love to make him give me high fives in front of people. He's like, high five! High five, man! Let's go! He's like, oh. <laughs> um, I wonder if he's down here still today. He was here earlier. He was here earlier in our awesome opening ceremony. Yes. So good. Many flames. Our production team puts on such a good job. That they do. They do. Um, so we're going to take another five minute break, guys. So, you know. Now would be a good time to throw away some of that trash that's on your dirty computer desk. That's actually a really good point. If you, you know, just spend some time, it's kind dust gross. off your keyboard. Let me give you a little trick. Take your keyboard, turn it upside down, and go like this. You're going to be disgusted. Yeah. But it needs like, wow. to be done. All right. We'll be back soon. Because Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are impossible, you see.